okay now let's see how to write code and work with the collection to define a collection you you can define it in one of two ways first is to write dimension c as a new collection okay now uh, the new keyword here will instruct the uh, the computer to allocate resources uh, memory resources for your collection although it's a new collection and it has zero element but it will have some memory resources and it will be ready and prepared for whatever um, functionality you, functionality you want it to, to do okay now if you write it differently like this dimension c as collection this is not the same okay uh, you will not be able to use C right away because it does not point to a valid uh, col uh, collection you will have to execute a statement like this C equal new collection after that you will be able to use C okay so uh, the first statement will create a collection and make it ready for you to use while the second one here uh, will uh, will not create a statement here uh, C equal new collection is where the collection is created and after that you can use your collection so uh, which form you are going to use well usually you will use this form okay unless you you, you will need for some kind or uh, uh, sorry unless you will for some uh, reason need to use this format and allocate the collection later on you will use uh, you, you will switch to the second format so it depends on your uh, problem and your program okay now let's see how to add an element to add an element you will write something like this c dot add the element the key and this one's optional before this one's optional as well after this one's optional as well now uh, the element can be of any data type uh, we already saw that we can use integer string uh, double single etc okay now the key value is used to uh, specify a text index what i mean here is that uh, in the arrays for example you always use number for example uh, to, uh, you always use number let's say you want to access the third element you would say a of uh, three and if you want to access the 10th element you would say a of 10 if you are in the collection if you are providing the key value and you write text in, in the key value you will use that text to retrieve uh, now let check this out c dot add 33 index mark later on when you want to get the value 30 uh, sorry the the value you will just write uh, v equals c of mark you are not using c of the three or of three or c of ten instead you are using c of mark or c of smith according to the index value you provided so you are accessing by text instead of number and sometimes this is convenient okay now let's see uh, the before the before field is uh, used to specify before which element you want your new value to be inserted the after is something very similar and it it tells the uh, computer after which element your item should be inserted okay now let's see this example c dot after 2.2 this would as a real number to the collection at the end of the collection since we didn't uh, specify the before or after and c dot add test this will add a string also at the end now now uh, c dot add 17 comma comma one this uh, the third uh, parameter is for the before so this means add the value 17 before the first uh, the uh, sorry the first element the second example you have uh, three commas so uh, this one's for the key this one's for the before this one's for after it means insert the value 30 after the third element in the collection okay now let's see how to remove an element it's very easy you just uh, uh, write c dot remove and element loca uh, location so this example remove the second element to get the number of elements you would write c dot count 
and for, for example um, uh, msg box c dot count will get uh, will show you a small message box uh, with number of elements in the array okay and finally to clear all the elements in the collection you just write c dot clear okay now uh, let's uh, see how to overcome the problem of assigning a value to an element uh, or overwriting or uh, rewriting or overwriting it okay uh, in the array you already write a of 1 equal 33 or a of 2 equals 17 and this would replace the old value however in the collection you will do it in two commands first you perform an insert and after that you will perform a remove so in this example you are adding a value before the fourth location now the element in the fourth location is now in the fifth one so we will remove it with the second statement this will have the exact same effect of writing a of 4 equal 30 okay okay now uh, we will test uh, the simple application that demonstrates how to use the collection uh, let's try first uh, adding uh, a number of names now add name here is Smith uh, another one is John and last one Michael now if you if we press a few items in the list you get them here you get number of items you get three uh, if you want to remove let's say we want to remove the second element press ok and view the items you can see here let's replace the second name with the value AAA now if we view, if view the items you can see here clear the collection and view the items it's empty just to make sure get the number of items there it is so let's check the code quickly now this is the code dimension my collection is a new collection okay here we get the data uh, sorry the uh, collection object now this button allows us to clear the collection so as we said before uh, collection name dot clear for move all items to add the value we just write uh, we are just read the value from the interface and here we are adding it okay no need to keep track of number of elements and stuff like that okay to get the number of elements we we use this method my collection dot count okay so you can see here now uh, if we want to display the value all the values in the collection we'll do the following we clear the content of a list box and then we will loop on all the elements in the collection starting from one ending with the last element and adding them uh, something interesting is here is that the list box dot items is actually a collection but it's not the same exact same type of collection it's a special one and its index starts with zero so it might get confusing however it has the same ma main methods uh, it have clear and it has the add add item okay so it if you understand how collection works you can understand how the list box works okay and uh, here we have the remove method uh, you check out uh, which element you want to remove and this one is placed in i and then you just call the remove method finally uh, in order to replace the value uh, in other way, uh, other words, we are trying to simulate the assignment statement. Here we will check the location, and then we will read the value. So we will add the new value and remove the old one. Okay. So this is it. If you have any notes or uh, comments, please send them uh, uh, or uh, send them uh, or, or write them on the website. Okay, check out the website to download PDF to a tutorial and uh, download the source code. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.